Brandon Miller might have made it to the NBA. To build on the young court that they have. Let's find him that, that right oh! oh my goodness, Brandon Miller! But his sights are set on much loftier goals, which includes a car collection like no other. Let's start off with Miller's earlier days, where he had to make a crucial choice. Which sport was he going to dedicate himself to? Number 8. Brandon Miller's Early Life Miller was born on November 22, 2002, and grew up in Antioch, Tennessee. Despite being from Tennessee, Miller grew up an Alabama sports fan thanks to his father, Daryl Miller. Daryl was an athlete himself, having played tight end at Alabama in the early 90s. However, he had to put aside his promising athletic career once he had his first son with his wife Yolanda. And Brandon's dad wasn't the only athlete in the family. His mom was a former high school track runner, and even his brother and sister were ballers. His older brother, Daryl Jr., played college ball at Fisk University, while his younger sister plays at Cumberland University. Growing up, Brandon said he was a basketball, baseball, and football fan. However, his passion shifted to basketball as he kept growing taller and taller. Number 7. How He Started Basketball Brandon's love for ball started in the kitchen. Unlike most professional basketball players who begin playing basketball on their driveways or nearby parks. Now that may sound a bit odd, but growing up he didn't have a basketball hoop outside, and neither was he big enough to go out by himself. So his parents put up a small hoop on their refrigerator, on which Miller practiced his jumper. And when he wasn't doing that, he would spend his time dribbling the ball all over the house and throwing it against the wall. Now we're sure his parents give him an earful whenever he broke something inside the house, but if it wasn't for his growth spurt, we might be talking about Brandon Miller, the baseball star, rather than the basketball one. As a kid, he thought he was going to be a baseball player, but because he kept growing, he found it awkward to play baseball properly and shifted his attention to basketball instead. Although his love for America's favorite pastime has diminished, he still keeps an eye on baseball because of his friend Mookie Betts, who plays for the Los Angeles Dodgers. When it comes to ball, what really made him fall in love with the game was the vision that he had. Even as a kid, he envisioned himself making it to the NBA and building his own career path. That vision was so strong that it kept him motivated throughout his teens. And if you think he's satisfied by just making it to the big leagues, well then you don't know Miller. That is just the first step of his grand vision. But before that vision could come true, he needed to prove himself in the different stages of his basketball career, starting with his excellent play in high school. Number 6. Journey to the NBA Simply put, Miller was a beast in high school. He attended Cane Ridge High School where he averaged 23.3 points, 8 rebounds, 4.3 assists, 2.6 blocks, and 2.3 steals per game during his junior season and earned himself the Tennessee Gatorade Player of the Year, which he did win again the very next year and was named Mr. Tennessee Basketball. He also got a chance to play in the Jordan Classic and the McDonald's All-American Games. There was little doubt that Miller was a five-star recruit, and he had many suitors as well. These included G League teams, Australian National Basketball League, and other college programs like Tennessee State, where his cousin Brian Collins coached. However, Miller decided to follow in his dad's footsteps and take his talents to Alabama. And it didn't take long for Miller to establish his own legacy at Alabama as he scored a freshman record 41 points against South Carolina in February. Miller would go on to win the most valuable player of the SEC tournament after averaging 20.3 points and 11 rebounds over three games. Along with that, he was named First Team All-American, won the SEC Player of the Year, SEC Rookie of the Year, and was given First Team All-Conference honors. Part of his secret sauce was his work ethic in college. On film session days, Miller would come to work an hour earlier to get treatment for his body. Then he would eat, study film, eat again, and go straight into basketball practice. This was followed up with further treatment to help with recovery, more food, and then back again for a personal workout to work on his shot. Now all of this paid off as he averaged 18.8 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 2.1 assists with nearly a block and steal a game in college. This was good enough for him to earn a ton of draft hype, even surpassing Scoot Henderson. Number 5. NBA Dream Come True Coming into the 2023 NBA Draft, the number one selection was considered automatic. It was going to be Victor Wembanyama. 
and that entire time it was believed that Scoot Henderson would go second. But because of Miller's potential and skill set, he surpassed Scoot and was picked second overall by the Charlotte Hornets. Now this pairs him up with one of the best young point guards in the league in LaMelo Ball, making the Hornets future look extremely bright. And if Charlotte fans were a little concerned about picking Miller, he put those concerns to rest as he matched up with Wembanyama in their first summer league game and even spun Wemby around with a deadly crossover. For now, Miller might have struggled a little shooting the ball, but once someone as elite as LaMelo is out there beside him, the floor in the game should open up for Miller to do his thing. And if he meets or exceeds his potential, he could very well be signing a lucrative contract like his teammate LaMelo. Number 4. NBA Contract Straight away, Miller earned more money than most people will ever see in their lives. His rookie contract is worth $41 million over a four-year span. Now that gives him a yearly salary of $9 million. And there are a lot of expectations and pressure that come with being the second overall pick. But if you meet those expectations, you can set yourself as a franchise cornerstone and ink deals worth over $200 million. Just ask LaMelo Ball, who recently signed a $260 million deal. Now This could be part of Miller's grand vision, as he could be the next young star to earn generational wealth through basketball. And that's just with the NBA. Outside of it, he has signed a deal with Nike, and it likely will be the first of many endorsements coming Miller's way. Some people might not know what to do with all of that cash, but Miller is already has an inkling for cars. So we guess we can see where a large chunk of his earnings will be going. Number 3. Social Media Currently, Brandon Miller has over 150,000 followers on his Instagram. However, he has yet to play an official game in the NBA, so once that happens, we're sure that number will skyrocket. Especially if he drops a few 30 or 40 point games. When Miller isn't balling, he likes to spend his time looking up cars and searching for the next great muscle car to add to his collection. Unlike most players, Miller is all about American muscle, rather than foreign cars like Lambos or Ferraris. His love for cars started randomly as he was browsing around YouTube, and he happened to stop on a video about cars. And he is a true car head. He doesn't just care about look, he needs the perfect engine, modifications, and other things that go into building the perfect muscle car. So far he has a Dodge Charger, and soon enough he'll be adding to his car collection. And if you thought his love for muscle cars was unique, wait until you hear about who he thinks is the greatest player of all time. Number 2. Favorite Player Now if we were to list the best NBA players of all time, we might be in the hundreds before reaching the player Brandon Miller believes is the GOAT. So that should give you a hint that it isn't the usual Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Rather, Miller believes that Paul George is the GOAT of basketball, and that might sound absurd. Okay, it is absurd, but when you look at Miller's game, you see the influence PG-13 has had on him. In fact, Miller's draft comparison has always been Paul George, and when you see him play, it really does look like a young PG balling out. Ever since his pick went viral, Miller has clarified his statement and said that the GOAT really is MJ or LeBron, but when it comes to his personal favorite, it has been PG and will always be PG. So we will definitely be keeping a close eye on when the Hornets match up with the Clippers as that would be a fun battle to see. Number 1. His Net Worth Miller is just starting out in his career, but already he has earned millionaire status through his earnings in college and his recent NBA deal. But because he was only on the first year of his deal so far, and he lacks any lucrative deals, which are coming his way no doubt, we have to estimate that his net worth is somewhere around the 4 to $5 million mark. Now part of this is Uncle Sam taking a large chunk for himself, and the other part is his age. But as we said before, if he balls out as he is expected to do, he could earn himself generational wealth. Now if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down Brandon Miller's story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.